Right now on KGMB, an autopsy reveals what caused the death of Stephen Dinan during a violent arrest in White Manalo. Justice will be served for him. Good evening. The autopsy of 35-year-old Stephen Dinan shows the Kariohe man was choked to death during his arrest. The medical examiner has ruled it a homicide, and this now clears away for potential criminal charges and a multi-million dollar lawsuit. Uh, Rick Desog has the exclusive details. The medical examiner initially said Stephen Dinan did not look like he had been assaulted when he died following his arrest last month. But now the ME has made an official determination that his death was no accident. That Steve Dinan died as a result of a homicide, not an accident, not suicide, but homicide. I just want justice for Stephen because he didn't deserve to die. And I still hold true to the fact that he was, it was a homicide. The 35-year-old Dinan lapsed into a coma on June 3rd after he scuffled with police who were conducting a theft investigation in Waimanalo. According to the medical examiner, Dinan choked to death after his chest was pressed against the ground. The ME says Dinan also suffered a severe injury to his neck. Now that Dinan's death has officially been determined to be a homicide, the question of who is responsible will have to be answered. Well, we just want justice. I mean, that's, um, this, this is not an issue of uh, uh, compensation. This is not an issue of seeking revenge. I mean, the family needs closure, and closure means that someone has to be held accountable. Dinan's family says his loss has been painful. It's really hard to tell a two-year-old that his daddy's not coming home. And, you know, my son, Shaden, he wakes up every day asking, where's daddy? The arresting officer, a 26-year veteran, was placed on leave but has returned to duty. A police investigation is pending, but the FBI has opened its own probe after Dinan's family complained that police were biased. I understand they've interviewed a number of eyewitnesses. They've interviewed the family members. The ME's report means that a multi-million dollar lawsuit against the city is all but certain. Rick Desog, Hawaii News Now.